Hello guys, we are at the Indian Hill Cemetery. Look at the church. It is so pretty. It is really pretty. I am still here at the Indian Hills Cemetery and um, I wanted to take you guys around and show you guys the church. Wow. It's amazing. So that's probably like Sunday school classes. Well, there's a bathroom, but um, it's probably like Sunday school classes. And then there's a building back here. I'm not exactly sure if this, maybe this is where the congregation, maybe this is the new building that was built. Cause that looks like an old section of the church. Not positive. Look at the stained glass on the windows. I bet it's beautiful inside. It is. I love the big cross. Is that bird coming my way again? You could hear him. No. Now, over in there is the big cemetery, Indian Hill Cemetery. Down here, close to the front, there are graves. So this whole section may be going to be more graves. I'm not positive, but it's a good possibility. What does that say? Laboreth together with God. 1 Corinthians, maybe 3, 9. Now, I wonder what's back there, because that's all fenced off. That whole section back there is fenced off. Wouldn't it be neat if there was other graves? See, this was all one big farmland or plantation land. And, um, you know, part was donated for the cemetery. And then probably donated for the church, too. We'll have to do some research on this, on this cemetery. I wanted to take you guys down to the other end. Where, um... Angie and Jesse and I saw a bear. It uh, doesn't look like it's mowed very well. But um, I definitely wanted to take you guys down there. But I wanted to show you the church, how beautiful it is. Take you down to that end and um, see what we can see. As I was driving through today, I thought there was water down there. I thought somebody said there was water on the other side. I don't see any water. So, and it looked like there's a fence. So... If the bear got in, the bear came in from out this way, through the gate. So let's take a ride down there. There's more of the um, church. I guess you vote there? No, there's like a little, that's probably like a kitchen there. Alright, so I'm going to take you guys down around the other side. Okay guys, if you remember correctly, we were parked beyond that tree. And then down here is where we saw the bear. Now, it looks like there's a fence all the way around this place. It looks like a bob, like a, not really a fence, but like a bob wire thing. So I'm gonna, look at the size of them trees. I'm gonna take you guys for a walk down in there. I wish I had a hat. I almost brought this dorky looking hat that I had and I didn't. Um, I almost did though, so nothing gets in my head. Anyways, let's take you guys down. Like, here's this looks like a child, and it's unreadable. I mean, you might be able to read it if you if you did the um, grave rubbing. There's not a whole lot of graves down here. Let me check these trees out and make sure there's no critters up there that's going to jump down on me. Look at the size of these trees. They're amazing, especially that one back there. That one's big. That one there is pretty pretty decent, big wise, but like the trunks. Um, that trunk down there on that one is pretty big. Please don't nothing fall on my head. Look, at, I love the way they're dangling over. Oh my goodness. It's so cool looking. It's really cool looking. So, there's a bunch of graves here. This one looks kind of fresh, or kind of new. It looks like there might be one right there, unless that's where they dug for this one. Yeah, this was 2019. Wow. 
Yeah, see, I mean, I guess a bear could come over that out there because it looks like the bob wires might be down there in that corner. Um, and it looks like that's, you know, farmland out there. It's crazy, all this farmland. I guess every place was farmland at one time. Um, so, you know, some of it got split up and cemeteries were actually just made there. But like this here was um, donated, I'm sure. We're gonna look this up and we're gonna see. Um, there's not a whole lot of graves out here. Just these few, there's one there, there's one there. Unless there's a bunch of unmarked graves on this side. I got a feeling that this was um, possibly, maybe, I don't know, that's a new one there. So I was thinking that maybe this was the old section. Um, trying to see if that bob wire is down anywhere else in that one corner, but you know, bears can come in from up that way, from the gate. They can come from anywhere and just end up in here. That's why when you're walking through, you need to look up in the trees because there could be critter animals hiding up in the trees and just like, you know, I mean, I don't know. Bears can probably climb trees. These trees are amazing. I'm a little worried about ticks right now though, guys. I don't want to get ticks. I didn't take you right here on this side of the cemetery. And then there's all the way across the back. See, when I was on the other side in my other video, I was hearing noises from beyond, like, like it sounded like voices and it sounded like the voices were coming from where I'm at now. So, if that was spirit, you can talk right into my camera now if I'm closer to you. Okay. I heard something. It did sound like a voice, but it doesn't sound like it's real close. That's crazy. <gasps> what the hell was that? Did you hear that? I know the wind's blowing. It could have just been the wind. But that sounded like somebody was walking right up to me. Oh, goodness. I'll check it out on this video real quick. <laughs> Hopefully not. Oh, my goodness. It would be so neat to see spirits walking right up in the cemetery. I want to do that sometime. I just want to go sit and put my camera up and just leave it run for a while and just see if we see anything. Because I guarantee you, if spirits go back to where their body is, Because some spirits, you know, don't know that they're passed away. So, I'm thinking if spirits can go back to where their body is, the cemeteries are full of spirits. Um, I don't know what, I don't know, like I guess if your cremated spirits go back to their ashes, I'm not sure how that works. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but, um... The Bible says that we're made from man's ribs, so we're God lifted up dust or something and blew life into us. So I, you know, maybe we were dust before we were born, and now, you know, maybe cremation is how we're supposed to be buried. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you know. My opinion: I've always wanted to be buried and not cremated, but now I just I don't care. I guess it doesn't really matter. Do I want to be buried and um? You know, they embalm you, but eventually the embalming fluid has to come out somewhere. That's why they put a hole in the bottom. I don't know if there's a hole in the bottom of the casket, but I know that some of those caskets that you put in the, in the, um, like in the wall, you can see the holes going down through them, like where the, the fluids have a spot to leak out. And some of them, you can see like in the mausoleums, you can see like it looks like fluids have leaked out. Do I want that with my body or do I just want, 
I don't know. Do I just want to be cremated and be done? I have no clue. I guess it's going to be up to my kids what they do to me. Because at this point, I guess I really don't care. I always wanted the burial spot so that somebody could bring me flowers. But, you know, once my kids are gone, who's going to bring me flowers? There ain't going to be nobody else around to bring me flowers. So I'll be like one of these graves that sit here with no flowers. You know, unless we move back to Maryland. Because if we moved back to Maryland, I would definitely want to be buried. I have so many friends there. And the friends have little kids. So somebody would always be around. Down here, I don't have people. I have Angie and the boys that would, you know, that will go to my grave. But once they're gone, you know, their kids, the, the boys' kids aren't going to know. Oh, well, she was our grandma, but then they don't know me, so it ain't going to matter. You know, I don't know. Here I am talking about death. I don't want to talk about death, but we're talking about it. I guess if I talk about it enough in videos, nobody can say, Oh, well, you know, she didn't want to be cremated or she, she wanted to be buried. I don't really care at this point. Doesn't matter. All right, guys. So, um, I'm trying to think if I want to take you guys across the back there and um, find a grave. I remember there was a grave back there that... That, um... There was something on it and, and it, it made noise or something as I walked past. So let's go back there and um, see what we can see back there. Okay, guys. Yeah, it was back here and I'm trying to think of what that dude's name was. Let's just go back here and walk around. I want to show you this one over here with the, um, with, um, the tractor trailer on it. Look at that. He must have drove a tractor trailer. I wonder what his name is. Joseph Michael Henderson. He has a guitar too. Oh, here's a young boy. 71 to 89. His name was James. Oh, look at him. Loving memory of our son James. 81 would be 10 and then eight more so he was 18 oh my gosh it's so he died on valentine's day wow that is crazy wonder how he died somebody look him up let me know how he died now there's the daddy see this is probably the mama's spot um there's the daddy over there james w he died in 2017. Wow, I wonder where the mother is. Maybe the mother, 2017, maybe the mother's still alive. Oh, he was born in 45, so chances are the mother is still alive. Oh, they lost their son. That is so sad. So chances are that mother is still alive. Here's a homemade one hard to read but you could read it and then look at this this looks like it's lifted and then what happened to the bench the bench must belong to that one but the bench must have broke off Hanson look at this one here here's a here's a marker grave Shirley Wilson I'm gonna walk back here. Maybe we should, um, where's that young boy? Maybe we should do spirit box right there. What do you guys think? You wanna do spirit box at James and find out how he died? Let's do that. Now somebody still look him up and let me know how he died because I haven't got to do that. Okay, let me squat down here. Hi James. I hope you're resting in peace. If you have anything to say to us or you want to let us know how you passed away, you can um, tell us right through this black box here. All right, here we go. Hello, James. 
My name is Marie. I come in peace. I hope you're resting in peace. Can you tell us how you died? Can you tell us what happened on that Valentine's Day that made you pass away? What year you died? James, is your mama still alive? Can you tell us what it's like in heaven? Can you tell us what you see as soon as you die? Thank you for talking with us. I hope you're resting in peace. Can you tell us bye? Bye. Wow, I'm not sure what all I heard come through that. It didn't, doesn't sound like much does not sound like much at all rest in peace James okay guys so let's take a walk up here and see I can't remember I might remember the name of the grave if I if I seen the name on it it had one of those spin things and I think there was no wind at all at that time and um all of a sudden, I don't know what I said, but when I turned, the thing just started spinning like crazy. Wow, look at all these. They're like crammed in here. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I'm not sure which one it was. I think it was right in here. But, of course, I don't see the, um, you know, the little spin thing, so I'm not sure which one it was. 
This is an Edith. This is a William. Not sure. All right, guys. Okay, guys. This was short, but I have to go. I have to go to the bathroom, and I don't want to go to the bathroom in a public restaurant or a public rest. Yeah, restroom. I said restaurant, restroom. Anyways, so I have to head towards home. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's videos, and um, I will see you guys soon. Bye.